What's going on everybody? It's your boy Jobbers and Goons and today we are following up on the new Hulk run. We've been keeping up with it. You guys have loved the story reviews and updates and issue four just dropped. So we are going to talk about it. I did a live reaction on the stream actually, but if you miss it, doesn't matter because I'm actually reviewing it here. Before we get into this, you got to run the likes up. 200 plus likes would be absolutely amazing. The more the likes, the more comments and the more y'all help my channel grow the more i put out content it's that simple we're on the road to 30k you get 10 people to subscribe today we could take over overnight that'd be amazing but also check out my discord i do games prizes giveaways d and d's and more and yeah getting into this what's been going on with hulk well first of all if you haven't seen any of my other reviews go check them out i will also drop cards throughout this video kind of linking them so you can click on them whenever but this Hulk story is centered around the mother of horrors popping up and she essentially blames Toba slash Toa for stealing her away and she's trying to get out she's trying to make a move her children including the eldest are back recently he had the fight brother deep brother deep being a creature from mother of horrors that is supposed to be an affront to the one above all. The one above all cooked his ass. Hulk did the same shit, beat the hell out of him. And now we have this story where he's continuing on with his journey. Now, at this point, we see this guy is being let out um, into this swampy area, right? And he's seeing this girl that apparently died when they were younger, right? He was driving. She was with him. They were drunk. He was super drunk. And she died. And she's luring him in. She's like, yo, come be with me. And he's like, yeah, you've been fucking dead since I was a like, we were kids. And she's like, I'm still pretty though. Come smash me. And he's like, what the fuck is going on? And he's tripping, right? He's already fucked up. He's tripping. She drags him in. And he's like, oh my fucking God, this is crazy. And he's just taken. This is when the story switches over and we see what Banner is doing. And he's currently uh, hanging out with the girl Charlie. Charlie being the girl who ran away from her abusive home. Looking for the Hulk because the Hulk was our hero. She was looking for a monster to protect her from her monsters. So the funny thing about this is Charlie doesn't really fuck with Banner, right? Charlie fucks with the Hulk because the Hulk's the one that gets the job done in her opinion. She's like, that's the one that'll really slide on some shit. I want to hang out with him. And she kind of gets into a back and forth with Banner. And she's like, yo, you're mad at me. And you don't like me because the Hulk fucks with me more than he fucks with you. And Banner starts to realize she's hanging around the Hulk. Because she's hoping to one day be like him. She believes because of gamma radiation and stuff like that. Potentially if she hangs around something that gives off gamma, she'll become the Hulk. She's like, it doesn't fucking work like that. I got stuck in a gamma bomb. That shit was like a one in a million thing. It's not easy to do. It's not something you just do by being around me. He's like, you need to get that fucking idea out of your head. You don't really even understand what the Hulk is. You don't know what it's like to live with that. So you need to just like cut the shit out. And he dips while she's going to the bathroom, right? And he bought her stuff and he's out. And he's walking along they're in florida he's walking along the wetlands essentially right and just going for a walk she comes back and on the news is the story of how a man was brutally murdered and the suspect is a girl believed to be traveling with someone and of course it's charlie her face is plastered on there and she dips she's out once she realized banner dipped and paid for her stuff she's gone she's like i want to get out of here before the storm coming but obviously she's just trying to get the fuck out of dodge because her face is now on the news we get to Banner walking along and he sees a reflection in the water, right? And he goes, Hulk, fuck off. Like, I don't want to deal with you right now. And then he, of course, we realize as real, uh, readers who that is immediately, but he didn't. And then he looks back and he's like, oh, God, like, I'm not, I don't need to deal with this right now. And then it goes over to Charlie, who's walking along the wetlands as well. And she runs into something going, it looks like a small child. And he's like, Charney, will you come help me? And she's like, what the fuck? 
and it's tripping balls at this point obviously we're dealing with some crazy horror shit that she's doing and she's like yo it's not your fault uh he's like i'm sorry i got you in trouble and she's like nah nah it's dad's fault and he asked her to pick her pick her up right and then it he's clearly leading her into the water and then it pans over to man thing and we see uh banner talking to him and banner's like yo i know you're ted salas i know that um you pretty much are the guardian of the nexus you know the nexus of all realities which is a stupidly powerful concept within marvel comics i've actually done videos on it before and he's trying to reason with ted south right he's like you know i'm, I'm just making my way like, you don't mind me and man thing fucking grabs him and he's like dude no don't fucking do this man thing starts burning bruce banner and banner gets completely burned we then see this transition to hulk appearing that's right hulk starts popping out hulk is like eh, i'm just being honest hulk's not going for that for that shit this is like one of the most brutal rip throughs like rip aparts we've ever seen and we see just pretty much Man thing got one shot. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Rip Brody got ripped the fuck apart. Obviously got bullied. But he's fine with that because he was able to BFR Hulk and bring him into the Nexus of all realities. And Ted pops out for Man Thing. He's like, Look, I know you cook, Hulk. I'm not I'm not trying to deny that. Can't even reason with you as Man Thing. Man Thing to Hulk, because obviously, like, you're gonna think it's beef. So he goes, I've stumbled upon something. I've been awakened by something ancient power i'm not strong enough for and i've never seen before that's a wild fucking statement because keep in mind that Sal salas has had experience with the divine creator think about all the things man thing has experienced over the years as well he's like i've never been around something so ancient i can't clutch the ones with it i need you hulk and he said not just are we dealing with this power but i wasn't the only thing awakened by it something else woke up something else is here and it pans over to charlie who is still interacting with this little boy and she goes she eventually goes yo you can't be fucking real you're dead like i i know i'm tripping at this point like this is crazy and he the baby thing gets sinister as fuck and it's like oh you you think i'm not real you think i'm trolling well it turns out we're in the one place that I can be real and we can all be together again. And then we see this nasty Cthulhu Lovecraftian wild looking motherfucking monster pop out, right? Like literally it looks like it has a, a person hanging as its dick. Like look at that, I'm gonna show the monster on screen. Look at that shit, that shit's crazy. And this thing appears and we see that in next issue, Hulk is going to be brawling with something referred to as the Swamp Witch, which is insane. Apparently, new monsters are being introduced. But yeah, guys, what do you think about this? What do you think about Man-Thing saying this power, this ancient power is beyond anything he's seen before? The implications about Mother of Horrors and all things related to her get crazier by the issue. I told you guys I think this is going to be the craziest scaling we've seen for uh hulk for sure and it's reshaping the cosmology heading into gods let me know what you think of this issue my only complaint is i wish they were longer they are really short short someone had commented that and i do agree i wish it was a little longer but the story is amazing so far this has been an absolute brawl and keep in mind i'm also dropping my carnage review so we can get into death of the venom verse tomorrow so check out that later in the evening but anyways guys thank you so much for watching it's been your boy Jobbers and Goons. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see y'all later. Peace.